Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mauro Doctor here with another video. Um, I know it has been a while. I'm not going to pretend it has not been almost seven or eight or nine months since I've last posted a video to this channel. I did mention, however, in a previous video, which I'm not sure exactly which video it was, but I know there was a video in which I said that I would let you guys know if I was going to stop uploading videos. And since I never made a video about it, you have to assume that I'm just taking a little leave of absence. So there are a few, there are a couple reasons primarily why I haven't posted any videos. Uh, number one, I haven't had a lot of free time, and number two, uh, the malware quality and malware quantity um, has become more difficult to locate and more difficult to fulfill what I need to make a good review and I will not post a video of a review that I don't think is using good enough samples or is not being tested properly. So that's that's the big reasons why I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I'm not exactly going to promise that there will be a lot of videos coming in the next couple weeks or months. I however do plan on getting back into it a little bit. There might be some days I post a couple of videos which is what I'm thinking I might do. I don't have a date for it. Um, or there will be many days that there will not be videos, but just following this channel you will be notified when I publish a new video. So um, I just thought, you know what, during this video too, let me go show everybody my current security configuration. Um, right now I'm in playing around with uh, Windows 10 Virtual Machine. I'm probably going to continue to use Windows 7 as my virtual machine for a majority of my security software reviews. Um, number one, because I have already have all of my applications already pretty much set up on the Windows 7 machine. And it also feels a little bit easier to use when I'm conducting my security software tests. Windows 10, it's a little bit more resource intensive and it's a little bit more difficult to navigate. I'm not saying it is difficult, but I'd rather be conducting these tests in an operating system that really is more conducive to these kind of reviews. So I'm going to go show you guys my current security setup. I know I have never made a video about it. I figured might as well let's do one today. So I actually use Malwarebytes. I have the professional version. Let me just open it up here. So they call Malwarebytes anti-malware home version. I remember when I first purchased Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, I believe it was called the professional version. I purchased it for $24.99, a transferable lifetime license for $24.99. I thought that was a steal, so I definitely I purchased a copy of it, and that's the one that you're seeing right now on the screen. A couple years after I purchased the lifetime version of Malwarebytes, I remember they switched their licensing model from one lifetime transferable license to a $24.99 for, for a one year three computer license. So instead of having just one that lasts forever, now you have three but they expire after a year. And I really do not need to have three computers with Marabytes and pay for it every year, so this really worked out well for me that I just have one lifetime license. As Marabytes has honored their lifetime license and basically grandfathered anybody that purchased a license into their premium home software for life. Um, pretty much for all the settings that are default, I don't really do anything with it. I do keep real-time scanning on. I currently do not have an antivirus on this computer. I'm just using Malwarebytes Anti-Malware as my main safeguard against viruses and malware. Um, in all honesty, I haven't gotten any notifications for Malwarebytes at all besides the occasional web filter alert. Um, if we just go through some of this, I know malware exclusions, I haven't set anything up. Web exclusions, I think uh, they set this up by default. Um, detection, advanced heuristics, I have that enabled. Archive scanning, malware protection, malicious website protection. Also, I really, I did check, and this is a default setting here. I did not change this, but potential malware programs are treated as malware, and also that same goes with potentially unwanted modification. So I'm very happy about that. I really like that they did that. I'm not exactly sure how the other antiviruses have changed in the past several months. I'm not sure. I'm. I've kind of been out of it a little bit, so I got to go see if other antiviruses are changing along with this tune because I know a lot of them by default do not 
to tax potentially wanted programs as malware by default. I know Avast, I just installed Avast on a computer earlier today and it was not set to detect potentially unwanted programs by default. So obviously that's still around. So update settings, if it's out of date by more than seven days I get a notification, but this computer is usually on every day so I get notifications all the time. I don't use a proxy server. I do report information to Marrowbytes based off of detections it finds. I have it set to start up when Windows starts up and I do not have it set to delay protection. It's just I have it set to start up right away. It doesn't really slow down the computer that much, so I don't really worry about it. Go back to the dashboard here. Um, I'm looking oh here we go. I have um I noticed when I was about ready to start this video that I do have several potentially unwanted programs on my computer. Um, I have to really go through here. Or I don't just like deleting stuff because I do know sometimes I get like a, like a Google updater listed as a potentially wanted program. So I will not usually delete that. I usually just restore it. And then these application logs, I really should delete that. I'm sure there's this, I think there's a setting that I can have so it will not create a log file every time it scans or I'm not sure if it just updates or just scans. Let me see here. Oh, this this log appears just to show um, if Malwarebytes starts up and when it shuts down. So um, here we go. I guess it just shows everything for the certain day. So it'll show when the protection starts up and shuts down. It'll show when it updates, where it's updating from. I mean, now where it's updating from, it'll show I guess what definition version it has for the Malware database. Yeah, I don't really don't look into this too much, so forgive me if I'm not up to speed with all of their settings. And you already guys already saw the quarantine. So, I mean, there's really not that much more to show. I really don't have much to say. I didn't really rehearse this. I just noticed that I am starting to get those comments that are asking where I am. And now they aren't coming in as much, so I hope those people are still following me. Um, I don't want anybody to be concerned. I'm still around. I'm still well. Um, everything's good with me. I just am really busy. I'm not shutting this channel down. I'm not deleting all the videos. I am making videos on my secondary channel. Um, I haven't really made any in a couple months. Um, I will have a link to that channel in the description. It's MD Tech Videos. That's more of Windows troubleshooting and help videos. It's not really for advanced users, but I did start up the channel to help novice users figure out some common Windows problems. So check that out if you want, if you want to hear my voice. <laughs> if not, it probably doesn't have that much to do with Windows security, but um, I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Whoever's still watching this video obviously um, is still devoted enough to stay subscribed to me. I appreciate that. I appreciate um, anybody who comments or likes. Um, if there's any problems or questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment. I will do some research into different products, seeing what's coming up, what's already been released. I know I'm a little bit behind the curve here. There are some of you guys that do help me out and send me links to change logs and give me some release information that I might otherwise, it might take me additional time to find. So if you anybody comes up with any hot leads, I mean, feel free to shoot me a message, and um, we'll go from there. So again, thanks guys for uh, being patient with me, and I will catch you later. All right, goodbye.